Hi, and welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about Vincent van Gogh's sunflowers painting. And I've gone all out for it. Look, yellow shirt and sunflower tie. First of all, let's have a good look at this painting. Just a vase with a bunch of sunflowers. Your first comment might be at first sight. Come on, Vincent, you could have done a lot better than that. You could have bought a fresh bunch of flowers. Yours, they look half dead. By 1888, Vincent had moved to the sunny south of France and he had moved into the now famous Yellow House and he was hoping that Paul Gauguin, his friend, would share his house studio with him. And then Vincent wrote to his brother, now that I hope to live with Gauguin in a studio of our own, I want to make a decoration for the studio. Nothing but big sunflowers. And in another letter to his brother, he introduced the idea of also painting La Berceuse, or the woman rocking the cradle. And he says then, the canvas of La Berceuse would be between the canvases of the sunflowers, which would thus form torches or candelabra beside them. La Berceuse in the middle and the two canvases of sunflowers to the right and the left. It would make a sort of triptych, he wrote to his brother. And the triptych would have looked like something like this. This is my reconstruction of it. But why? What is the link between the woman rocking the cradle and Vincent's sunflowers? In order to answer this question, we now need to look closely at the actual painting. Look at those sunflowers. There are 15 sunflowers, but all at the different stages of growth. Some are newly opened, some are in full bloom, some are beginning to droop, and some are going to seed. What is Vincent saying to us with these flowers? He's not just giving us just one flower. The flowers become a metaphor for all the stages of a human life. Can you see the link, therefore, between this and the Bersus? the woman rocking the cradle. And there is part of the link and of the message that Vincent is trying to give us. The woman rocking the cradle. Who is in the cradle? A new life. And therefore you have a mature person, a woman, who is taking care, nurturing new life. And this is what Vincent is trying to tell us that all of life is precious, all of life is sacred, from the very beginning to the very end. It is all important, it is all a gift that God has given each one of us, and all of it needs to be treasured and nurtured. I would like you now to do a little exercise with me. Look at the painting, for about 10 seconds without blinking. Stare at it. Look at all the details closely. Did you look at it? Now, please close your eyes. Open them again now. What has happened? Close them again. Open them. What's happened? Close them again. What has happened? Now you can see what Vincent is trying to say to us, that if we take away any part of it, if we don't show respect for any moment of life from the beginning to the end, our society will lose the sense of balance, the sense of harmony that God had intended for us. My last comment is about the vase itself. What is the role of the vase? Firstly, it keeps in perfect balance all the sunflowers in all their stages of life. Also, 
it provides some nourishment to each one of the sunflowers. And one more comment about Vincent's signature on the vase itself. He is telling me that he is committed to do what the vase is doing for the sunflowers. He is committed to support all of life from the very beginning to the very end. But he's also asking me a question. I need more people to join me in this vision and mission of the beauty, the sacredness of all life. Will you join me? And therefore, I'm prepared to put my name to that. But will you put your name to it? And next week, I'll look at this beautiful painting of the Good Samaritan by Jacopo di Bassano. Bye now.